Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora and this is Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you for joining us today. It is a pleasure to have you. And we are looking forward to having a great time with you as we worship the Lord, pray together, and read His Word. And before we start, we'd like to ask, if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. Or if you just want to say hi, give a shout out to your friends, to your relatives or loved ones anywhere around the world. And tell us where you are at. It will always be awesome to hear from you. Let's open in prayer. Father, I lift up to you si Tatay and si Nanay, and I pray, God, that you minister strength into their bodies, joy into their hearts, and refreshing in their spirits. Thank you for a wonderful time together right now, and we pray that your presence will just make the difference wherever they may be, maybe in a room, or maybe in their living room, maybe in the car, maybe in the hospital bed, wherever it is, Lord, let your presence be with them right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's open our hearts and worship the Lord. Good morning. Come and join me in worshiping our wonderful God. Moments to remember, moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember, moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the course of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green to proclaim the Lord is upright. He's my rock and there's no weakness in Him. Moments to remember, moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon Moments to remember Moments to remember Planted in the house of the Lord They will flourish in the course of our God They will still bear fruit in old age They will stay fresh and green to proclaim the Lord is upright, He's my rock, and there's no wickedness in Him. Moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember, moments to remember. walk into the room everything changes darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring and when you walk into the room every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you We worship you We love you And we'll never stop We can't live without you Jesus We love you And we can't get enough all this is for you, Jesus. Ooh. When you walk, when you walk into the room, sickness starts to vanish, every hopeless situation ceases to exist. And when you walk into the room The day begins to rise Cause there is resurrection life In all you do We love you And we'll never stop We can't live without you Jesus We love you 
we can't get enough all this is for you Jesus we love you and we'll never stop we can't live without you Jesus we love you and we can't get enough all this is for you Jesus we love you and we'll never stop we can't live without you Jesus we love you we can't get enough all this is for you jesus 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 amen A blessed day to you. This is Pastor Joey and this is your wow moment, wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is important to you because you have lived it. You have proven it. And now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our word of wisdom for today will be coming from Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control against such things there is no law we're coming to the last part of this verse uh, we started this last week talking about the fact that the fruit of the holy spirit is singular it has sections just like an orange you peel that fruit and there are sections and it may have several sections but it's still one fruit same with what we are talking about in the passage that we read love joy peace patience kindness goodness Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are all sections of one singular fruit. The fruit that the Holy Spirit brings in our lives. We've talked about love all the way to gentleness. And now, we're going to be talking about self-control. What is self-control? Self-control is about temperance. It's the ability to master one's self. And to better understand self-control, it is the opposite of being wild. It is the opposite of being unbridled. Self-control is very important in our relationships. Why? Because in Proverbs 25, 28, it says, A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. If you do not have self-control, if a person displays that he does not have self-control, he will be very vulnerable. He will be easily to destroy him. So that is the effect of having no self-control. Self-control is a much needed trait in life. And it does not only bring benefit in this life. It brings benefit even when you go home to heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath. But we, an imperishable. So likening our walk with God, likening our journey here on earth to training. We train and we practice self-control. For what purpose? Understanding that there is a reward, that there is something that we will receive as imperishable when we go home to heaven. Now, in your decades of life, you've lived many, 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 many years. You have a different perspective on things. You, 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 you understand which is more important compared to how it was when you were younger. You know what are the things that last. You know what are the things that eternal. And right now, it's not far that you are thinking about your rewards in heaven. Because the rewards in heaven, eternity being in heaven, is becoming a greater reality in your life right now. And self-control is very much needed until our last day here on earth. It is also a qualification, self-control, for leaders. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach. The husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. 
Paul also has a word for all of the young and the old about self-control. It's not just something that's required of one age group. It's for everyone. Titus chapter 2 verse 2. Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound of faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled. So in the passage of scripture that we read, self-controlled was mentioned what? Three times. And applying it to older people, younger people, older men, younger men, older women, younger women. It was mentioned repeatedly, teaching us that self-control is for everyone. It also was taught by Peter in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7. The end of all things is at hand, therefore be self-controlled. Master yourself and be sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. Now, your ability to master yourself, yes, is important in your prayer life. But what if you say, oh, I need work in this area. I really need self-control. That's great. That's awesome. And don't be discouraged. Because the Holy Spirit himself, it says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. The Holy Spirit himself brings self-control into our lives. Now, as you continue in your journey in life with the Lord, we pray that your fruit of the Spirit become more evident in your life. All of this, not just one, but all of them. May they see more of love, joy. May they see more of peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in your life. That's why you can say the best years of your life are just ahead of you because you have a lot of things to look forward to. May you bear more fruit in the Lord. This has been your one moment and our prayer for you is that as you continue in wisdom, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you will even be more fruitful. God bless you. Hello, wonderful exemplars. This is Pastor Paula and welcome to another Daily Surprise. Of course, when you see this face, you know it's going to be a pop quiz. All right. Today, I am going to ask you three questions from our past Sababa lesson. And all you have to do is to type down in the comment section below if you know the answer. So, are you ready? Awesome. So, let's start with question number one. Ding, 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 ding. Our question number one, Megiddo is a hill found in letter A, Galilee, B, Tel Aviv, or C, Jerusalem. Again, Megiddo is a hill found in A, Galilee, B, Tel Aviv, or C, Jerusalem. If you know the answer, start typing down in the comment section below. Right, let's go to question number two. -doo. For our question number two, Megiddo is the place where A. Jesus ascended to heaven, B. The final battle in Revelation 16 will take place, or C. This is the place where David fought Goliath. Again, Megiddo is the place where A. Jesus ascended to heaven, B. The final battle in Revelation 16 will take place, or letter C. David fought Goliath. So if you know the answer, start typing down in the comments section below. And we will go to question number three. For question number three, what is the Hebrew and English name of Megiddo? What is the Hebrew and the English name of Megiddo? Is it A. Har Megiddo? B, Armageddon, or C, A and B, right? Is it A, Har Megiddo, B, Armageddon, or C, letters A and B? 
If you know the answer, start typing down in the comment section below. And I'm going to give you time to check your answers and finalize your answers. I'm going to give you five seconds to do that at the count of five, four, three, two, and time's up. Let's go ahead and check your answers for our question number one. Megiddo is a hill found in. The correct answer is letter A. So letter A, the correct answer is Galilee. Megiddo is a hill found in Galilee. Now let's go to question number two. Megiddo is the place where the correct answer is letter B. So Megiddo is the place where the final battle in Revelation chapter 16 will take place. All right. Now let's go to question number three. For question number three, what is the Hebrew and the English name of Megiddo? And the correct answer is letter C. So that's A and B. The Hebrew name is Har Megiddo and the English name is Armageddon. Right? So did you get all three questions correct? Awesome! Congratulations! Wonderful exemplars. You did a great job. So I hope you enjoyed your pop quiz this week and i hope to see you again next week for another edition of our pop quiz make sure to take down notes again this is pastor paula and i will see you again next time god bless you bye Moments to remember. good morning everyone this is pastor Oin once again for our say amen segment today we will talk about matthias in the book of acts a promotable character for spiritual leadership, an apostle who filled in the vacated position of Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. So let us begin from Acts chapter 1, verse 21. So now we must choose a replacement for Judas from among the men who were with us the entire time we were traveling with the Lord Jesus. From the time he was baptized by John until the day he was taken from us, whoever is chosen will join us as witness of Jesus' resurrection. So they nominated two men, Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justus, and Matthias. After Jesus ascended, to heaven, the apostles of Jesus saw the necessity of filling in the position that Judas left. So they look at the at the people who have been with Jesus at the, at the start of his ministry. So they chose two. One is called Joseph, the Barsabbas, and Matthias. So what do we see from these two promising disciples? First, we see that they were faithful in following Jesus. Even though they had seen Jesus dead, they continued to follow. And because of this, they also witnessed the resurrection of Jesus with the rest of the apostles. These men also did not have bad attitudes, even they were not chosen to be one of the first 12 disciples or 12 apostles. They kept a good, faithful heart to follow Jesus by simply being Jesus' disciples and doing what Jesus would tell them to do. Therefore, when the time came that someone would fill in the position of Judas, Matthias was chosen as directed by the Holy Spirit. Here in COP, we have a lot of faithful members who were with us since the beginning. You were here not for position or power, but you just simply displayed your faithfulness. All throughout the years to the Lord Jesus Christ, whom we serve through hardship and triumph, you remain faithful. In Acts 1, 24-26, Then they all prayed, O Lord, you know every heart. Show us which of these men you have chosen as an apostle to replace Judas in his ministry. For he has deserted us and gone where he belongs. Then they cast lots and Matthias was selected to become an apostle with the other eleven. According to the scriptures, God knows every heart. God notices us. God looks into our hearts and he watches over us. Even if it seems that we are unnoticeable in the ministry, however, 
what is more important is the attention and approval of God. Beloved exemplars, God sees your faithfulness, dedication, and loyalty. And God will lift you up as you keep on following Him. Faithfulness like Matthias have is something worth passing to our next generation as an inheritance more than monetary wealth. Proverbs 13.22, Good people leave an inheritance to their grandchildren, but the sinner's wealth possess to the godly. This is your Say Amen segment for the day. God bless you. Hello po and welcome once again to our Memory Verse segment. Yes, I know, you can do this. Our memory verse for today is found in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. It says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God for that wonderful encouragement. Well, right now, we will be getting help from one of you. So help me welcome Brother Ben De La Pena. Hello po! Hi! Do you think you can do this po? Yes, I can! Awesome! 2 Timothy 4, 7 I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Wow! That was really good! Thank you so much po! And I know you recited the verse with our guest because you are now ready for round 1! of our memory verse. Round one, we will remove a few words and you will supply the missing words. Here we go! 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 Awesome! Thank you so much! Well, if you got that one right, please type got it at the comment section. And while you're typing, we will now proceed to round two of our memory verse. Round two, we will remove more words, and you will supply the missing words. Here we go. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Awesome! Did you get that right again, Po? If you did, please type, got it, at the comment section. Now everyone knows you got this one right. <laughs> okay, so why don't we call our guest back? to recite the verse with us. Are you ready? Here we go. 2 Timothy 4, 7 I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you so much, Paul. And thank you for joining us today in our Memory Verse segment. Until next time, God bless. Good morning! Welcome to Golden Hour. I'm Pastora Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing. We will run and not grow weary. We will run and not grow weary. We will walk and will not faint. For the Lord will go before us and His joy will be our strength. Mountain up with wings like eagles As our spirits start to soar When we come into His presence As we wait upon the Lord We will run and not grow weary We will walk and will not faint For the Lord will go before us And His joy will be our strength Mountain up with wings like eagles As our spirits start to soar When we come into His presence As we wait upon the Lord We will wait upon the Lord For in His presence is full As we wait upon the Lord, we
we will run and not grow weary we will walk and will not faint for the lord will go before us and his joy will be our strength mountain up with wings like eagles as our spirits start to soar when we come into his presence as we wait upon the lord we will wait upon the lord for in his presence is fullness of joy and our strength will be restored as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord, for in His presence is fullness of joy, and our strength will be restored. the next time God bless Paul Good day I'm Pastor Latin Gacharian and thank you so much once again for joining us in our prayer time It's always a great joy to hear your prayer needs and pray for them because we know that we have such a good and faithful God who always hear our prayers So how do we pray fervently and with joy let us all lift up our voices to God. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning and we are so grateful, O God, for all the wonderful things you have done in our lives. Father, we commit to you the needs of your people because we know that you will answer them. You will act on their needs, O God, because of your faithfulness. Father, I thank you for Sister Carmen Hardino's complete healing, Lord God, from having pain on her lower back. Thank you, Lord, that those hips will be cleared of any sicknesses or any pain or any diseases. Thank you, Jesus, that you will restore her strength and her health back in its original condition, for you are her great Jehovah Rapha. I also lift up to you, God, Sister Lydia Collis. Father, thank you for her sister Caridad Amor Sagrado and her family in North Carolina for continuously protecting them and keeping them safe and far from any kind of sickness or disease. I also thank you, Lord, for the complete healing of Sister Lydia from all pains and diseases of God in her body. Thank you that you will strengthen her immune system and cause her to enjoy long and satisfying years of life, far from any kind of sickness, free from COVID in the mighty name of Jesus. We also thank you, Father, for Sister Daisy Kamagai. Lord, thank you for always blessing her family, Lord God. Thank you for always protecting them and for prospering the work of their hands. We also pray, Father God, for Sister Blanca Angeles. Thank you for her daughter, Rian, oh God, for her blood pressure to be normalized. And thank you, God, for the protection of the whole family of Sister Blanca. Keep them far and free from any kind of disease and let your hedge of protection keep them safe under the shadow of your wings. That no sickness shall be allowed, no disease shall be allowed to come near them in Jesus' name. And lastly, Father, for Sister Van Yvonne Ameyan, thank you, God, for healing her from Parkinson's disease and for her daughter's family, Arsil Nevado, salvation. Thank you that as Sister Van Yvonne, oh God, believed in your word, she and her entire household will be saved as well. It is your greatest desire to see the whole family come to a knowledge of you. We thank you, God, because you are a great healer, you are a great Savior, and you're a great provider. We love you, we honor you, and we give you praise and glory that you alone deserves. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow for another time of prayer. Thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure to have you, and we are looking forward to having you join us again tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. Before we go, we'd like to ask if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below or if you have any testimony, anything good that the Lord has done in your life, please share it with us. We would love to rejoice with you. 
We believe that all of the promises of God are yes and amen through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's close in prayer. Father, I lift up to you, Tatay. I lift up to you, Nanay. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you so much, Lord, for the work that you are doing in our lives. And we commit them to you. We thank you, Lord. We pray, O God, that even as they go on their way, let your light shine upon them. Let your Holy Spirit lead them. Thank you so much, God, that you, Lord, are going to fill their hearts with joy and you will strengthen their bodies. Thank you for our blessed time together, Lord. Continually, let them also be used in bringing good news to others that others may know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and we'll see you again tomorrow for Senior Moments to Remember. Moments to remember.